Hello, everyone, and welcome to Georgie and the Life. I'm Jennifer Anderson. And I'm Joe Connors. We have an amazing show for you today. It is filled with all of the uh, recipients of the 2015 Georgina Award of Merit. We also have Mayor Margaret Quirk here to tell us a little bit about the awards and the impact that it has on our community. Uh, and also we're going to have the youth winners, Taylor and Nelson, talking about their experiences. Crystal Pangman, Amanda Stewart are here, both are award recipients in the adult category. Uh, Don Pratt, York Regional Police uh, for the community uh, policing, as well as uh, Tony Lynn. Uh, we also have the Harpleys here, Froney and Gary are here to tell us a little bit about uh, the award received by PAR. And after that, none other than... Mr. Jim Anderson is going to be joining us here. <laughs> so I think we've got a great lineup. So stay tuned. There's more to come on Georgina Life. to say I wasn't expecting us to try to attempt the full list oh we did it because this is I know we've talked about having jam-packed shows we're like oh this show's jam-packed oh this show's jam-packed this is jam -packed. exceptionally <laughs> jam-packed yeah. because there's so many great people in this community worthy of recognition let this, me tell you this is and and this is our fourth season this is one of my favorite shows I, yes. I love volunteering I love this community and uh, I am very excited today to talk to all of these folks including our first guest who I know also loves community and volunteering uh, Mayor Margaret Quirk is joining us thank you thank you for having me for being here I know you are um, it becomes part of the job as mayor you are at events constantly <laughs> yes, your I day <laughs> is filled with events in this community and things that are happening but it's also a wonderful opportunity to see so many people who are giving back exactly to our community you mentioned it's one of your favorite shows to do well it's one of my favorite events to, to go to both when I was on council and now as mayor it's a great evening to uh, recognize those people that give freely of their of their time their skills their energies for many events and, and associations around the town that if we didn't have them, those events and those uh, classes or those uh, associations, we, we couldn't uh, handle ourselves through, uh, through the town. Um, it really is a great opportunity too to showcase uh, the volunteers in this community. Oh yes, because I, as I said, uh, people don't volunteer to to get the recognition, and some people do it very quietly. And and you need to have a, an evening where we showcase just what the uh, the volunteers accomplish uh, in the town. And you saw the the list, and and we get a number of, of uh, nominations each year, and it is a difficult choice to go through and, and select the groups because we do have a, a good selection every year of, of nominations. Uh, nice to see all the different categories as well, being able to recognize in different ways. Exactly, and I think we were talking before that we used to do individual categories like sports mentor and arts and, and culture and we moved away from that uh, a few years ago and had the individual award of, of merits um, just so you could broaden it out because we found that having them too narrow people didn't know well who who should I uh, uh, you know nominate for that then uh, they did add the the groups in to be able to uh, award to groups and this year we did uh, the the three groups uh, you know uh, Pefala ratepayers the Sutton Agricultural Society and uh, the York Regional policing um, community policing volunteers so it's nice to have those groups recognized as well and also a great opportunity to see a lot of those folks because uh, the room was packed oh it was it was yeah. it was a great event and good for some networking to happen between the groups that maybe don't uh, see each other um, because they have different events and they're in different parts of the community great for them to, to, to network and it was nice this year that we were able to do a, a, a citizen of the year which we again we don't do every year and again I mentioned earlier that we try to look at uh, the citizen of the year for either a lifetime of, of uh, achievement of, of volunteering or if there was somebody that had a particular year where they just excelled and did so many great things this year with uh, with Ken Hackenbrook it certainly was uh, a lifetime achievement because uh, we all know that Ken has volunteered for decades here in, in Georgina in many, uh -huh. many ways and probably would have been recognized uh, a number of years ago except being a member of council, he was uh, not able to be to be nominated. So uh, it was great to see him not only nominated and get a, a, an award, but to uh, be named a citizen of the year. 
I'm glad you mentioned Ken because he's he wasn't able to come today. He's working. He I know. Work. I mean, you talk about tirelessly <laughs> yeah. working. Yeah. 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 You know, volunteering and work. And work. He's <laughs> yes. a busy man. Yeah. So it's it's nice. Um, it's nice that we can we can talk about him, talk yes. about it because he really is an inspiration, as well as all of these volunteers are a true inspiration to that's right the younger demographic you the, know, the, the, younger the two youth that we have generation to, yeah nominated and and the other ones uh you know you, you wonder what people are going to do next you see again some of the, the two, th two youth members that were nominated uh, what are they going to do over the next few years and and at some point will one of them become citizen of the year showing the the lifetime of uh, of, of uh, work and volunteering that, that that they will do that they've done so much right now yeah. what are some of Wouldn't these other individuals <laughs> oh, it wouldn't surprise me with a couple of them for sure. Margaret, mm -hmm. I gotta say, uh, I gotta clear the air on something first. Oh, as well. okay. uh, Georgina Cares live auction was yes. yesterday yes, on, I came on out Rogers. Out. You were here. Yep. You had donated a bangle. Which is a bracelet. Which is a bracelet as opposed to a beagle. Which is which a dog. Is dog. So I apologize that your dog was nearly auctioned off. Not that you own a beagle. We don't have a beagle. We no. have two dogs. and Neither of which are a beagle. Neither of which are a beagle. Um, so I apologize if I nearly auctioned off your beagle. But That's it was okay. going for a great cause. There you yes. go. There yes. Go. We had a great, great event yesterday. Great show today. Thank you so much no for problem. being here. Um, coming up after the break, we have uh, both Youth Award of Merit uh, winners. That's a mouthful. They're coming up on the show next. So we have our, our Youth Award recipients uh, here, Taylor and Nelson, joining us. Um, that was a great clip, I, both on stage and both at that moment <laughs> of uh, not deer in headlights, you looked composed, but a little bit of surprise, or is that, is that uh, safe to say, or sometimes being at the center of attention when being a volunteer that you're shy. a little bit more behind the scenes? <laughs> yes. yes, shy. Not yeah. surprised, you knew that you were receiving the award, um, but just a little bit shy about yes. it. Yes, Taylor, tell us about the work that you do. You are very involved with the town of Georgina. Yes, I volunteer at numerous events throughout the town. Um, Youth of Palooza, Snowfest, I'm there from uh, Canada, and there from sunup to sundown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Yeah, and that's, that's an important thing to say because it's not a couple of hours of volunteer yeah. time that you're doing. Uh, it's my understanding that you are there for the full event. Yeah, not just scheduled hours till they need me. Yeah. Right. So what makes you do that? Um, I love it. I love running back and forth from the one side of the event to the other side of the event, um, meeting new people, seeing everyone come out and all the families enjoy the day, that kind of thing. Right. It's very fun. And Nelson, the same for you, love meeting people? Oh yeah, I love meeting people, the impacts that people say that we have volunteers like myself, like Taylor, on everyone that we see, talk to, that we help through all of our volunteering activities. Uh, what types of volunteering do you do? Well, I volunteer at summer camps. I do m few v library activities, like Tuesday night reader uh, building club, where the kids just have Lego and all that, and we just build to their heart's content. And then Wednesday, we do reading circle, where I read French, English to kids. And for the kids, it's a lot of fun, I would think. And then, as well... Wait a minute. For, is it for the kids? Is, <laughs> you're having a little bit of fun with building and reading and doing that stuff to you, right? I will admit I am having fun, <laughs> but it is for the kids, yeah. Yeah. For the kids to come out, have, some, have a few, an hour or so, just time to themselves with whatever they want. Yeah. So tell us about the awards night. How well, it was 
a wonderful night. The, be the beautiful venue, the amazing people I was surrounded by. We had a few federal governmental um, representatives. Mm -hmm. uh, all the volunteers, as I said, I was honored to be among those groups. And then Ken Hackenbrook, the seventh son of the year. I'm sorry, I've, I'm at a loss for words. Have a, yeah. a great night that was. Yeah, no, that's that's very cool. Um, you know, I know both of you outside of um, that night. Um, I'm also, as a mom, I know both of your moms and know how proud they are of each of you. You sit on this couch and you talk very, very basically about the work that you've done, but I know there have been other things that it's... Um, for you, Nelson, you helped uh, a neighbour last year and you were recognized by the town of Georgina. It was in the paper, it was in the media, you were on our show. Tell us um, briefly what happened. Well, my neighbor, Ann Baker, she fell in her driveway. It was a very cold January night and she was out there for two hours before anybody heard her. I heard her through my window, I rushed outside, there she was, I give her my coat, I get my other neighbors to come help, they, we all call 911 and they take her away in the ambulance. It was a very stressful, very not excitable but intense night mm -hmm. that was but you helped save her yeah. uh, and you were recognized then and and um, to be recognized for the award on thursday night it really it didn't really have much to do with that particular event mm -hmm. it had to do with all of the other volunteering that you do from the library to the summer camps right to the random events with the friends right. of the library Right. And you, my dear, so you, um, you were here talking about the town of Georgina. Um, I had talked to your mom. She sent me um, oh, some information <laughs> that made me cry when I read it uh -huh. because um, she is very, very proud of the work that you do. But um, she talked about, you know, besides the town, you've donated your hair twice. Um, you've raised $2,000 for the Heart and Stroke Th Foundation. $4,000, actually. $4,000. Um, and that was to honor your friend Jason Shelton, who yeah. many people in this community know. And you also ride Big Bike every year um, for funds for the Heart and Stroke Foundation as well. So mm -hmm. um, there's so many different elements to what you do. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> And it, now that I'm in, so, yeah, we're you're embarrassing like, no big you. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> we, we glazed over that stuff, you know, no big deal there. But it, it really does, to both of you, seem like it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. and, and why is that? Is it just because it's what you do? Yeah, I was surprised actually. I got a call from Robin and I was on my way out of school and I was so surprised. I planned this event two years ago with Sarah and I never thought I'd be a recipient. <laughs> oh, okay. I helped plan it a couple of years ago. I didn't did. Didn't expect to be on the other side. Yeah, of honestly, I was so shocked. I was called my mom right away. I was like so excited. And I went into class and like everyone needs to stop talking for a second. I have something to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Well, we appreciate both of you being here. We hope that there are lots of uh, young people at home watching and striving to be like both of you. I hope so, too. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Uh, still more recipients coming up after the break. We have uh, Crystal and Amanda joining us on the couch. Stay tuned. Please join me in congratulating Amanda and all her hard volunteer work. Thank you. They call it volunteering. I call it just kind of surrounding yourself with some great people and having a good time doing what we do and enjoying some of the great things that Georgina has to offer. So I would like to put a piece of my award out to each and every one of you. You know who you are. Thank you so much. Please join me in congratulating Crystal. First of all, I'd like to thank my parents for always believing in me and inspiring me to do better and help others. 
Next, I'd like to thank our town and community, because without you, I wouldn't be able to do all the fundraising that I do to give back to our community. So I'd like to thank all of you guys. What a cool show we have going on here today. We're talking about the 2015 Georgina uh, Volunteer Award of Merit. Uh, and, you know, I'm feeling very emotional. You are. So, <laughs> and I know these next two guests will <laughs> also be emotional. They are my oh. emotional friends. <laughs> Amanda, Don't start, Jen. Uh, Amanda Stewart, Crystal Fangman, thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. Both of you are uh, Award of Merit recipients in the adult category, and we are thrilled to have you here today. Thank, Thank you. you. It was an emotional night. It was, absolutely. Yeah. Um, especially when you don't write something down and you kind of go on a whim. I don't recommend that. <laughs> but you're speaking from experience and it's you're speaking yeah. from the heart and that's when you're drawing from those emotions. Yeah. And we might even get you to speak from the heart now. No, and no. Then, <laughs> I'll speak from the heart, absolutely, but I probably won't get to that state here on the big comfy couch. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. But in that room full of some of Georgina's finest, it definitely kind of gets overwhelming a little bit. It really does. That and the nerves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and having, you know, friends and family there, um, you had uh, lots of people there supporting you as well. And, and so you feel the, the emotion of that day. Yes. Yeah. Definitely, especially with my parents being there and stuff, because they are always there supporting. They're at all my events. So to have them again at that was just a very big impact, very emotional. So. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So the work that you do, and I, you know, you have um, you have a very wonderful mentor. Um, your mom is <laughs> oh, uh, an event guru, uh, one of the biggest uh, philanthropic. I learned from the best. Yes, yeah. people that I know, uh, and you are following in her footsteps. You have so many events that um, you look after. Yep, everything from Georgina Challenge, Show You Care, Donate You're Here to the Junior Ambassador Program, uh, to also the Haunt for Hunger, and this year we're actually adding a zombie walk. So it's Amazing. my new thing in the, which Joe may come out. <laughs> <laughs> zombie walks are very cool. Yeah. <laughs> yep. so, and uh, like Secret Santa and many more that I do as well, so. How many times have you donated your hair? Do you know? Um, I have lost count. I have donated since I was just a little thing and then when I was about 11, 12 is when I actually started taking it more seriously and I was like, I can't do anything to it, it's got to grow, it's got to grow, so. And that's what you constant, you grow your hair and cut it, yep. it's just constant. Every year, two years at the latest. <laughs> yeah, wow. Mm -hmm. um, Amanda, your work is, is similar but different, right? Volunteer mm -hmm. work, um, but for, for you, you have surrounded yourself with uh, so many like-minded people. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so it's still very event-based for the most part, mm -hmm. um, which seems to kind of be the trend here. Um, but yeah, it's more with the business community and the Chamber of Commerce, um, surrounding myself with other business owners and kind of creating something above and beyond work mm -hmm. every day, Monday to Friday. For the past, past five years, you've been involved with the Georgina Chamber of Commerce? Yeah. Uh, I've sat on the board for the past five years as well. Um, the last two uh, being with the, as an executive on the, as a secretary treasurer on the Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors. Um, and yeah, it's just, it, it's incredible how many people you meet and how like-minded you actually are. So when you are kind of taken out of that group and given an award such as this, it's kind of surreal a little bit because you just kind of see yourself as one of the rest, not necessarily somebody that's any better or different. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was, it was great. Uh, it's safe to say that the businesses in Georgina, I'm sure businesses abroad in other towns, but let's mm -hmm. Let's toot our own horn for, horn for a second here. Georgina businesses are often a vehicle for the volunteering and for the yes. events and for all the different great things this, this community does. Yeah. So as your role with that network of businesses, you're that, that link in yeah. a lot of ways. Is yeah. that a safe statement? Yeah, absolutely. And it's not just a link with the business community. Oftentimes it's a link to, to residents and community people to... 
um, see what's out there and get a viable resource, you know, a, a true and trusted business um, that's oftentimes um, run out of homes or, you know, basements or backyards or those types of things. So it's kind of nice. Well, we're thrilled to have you here. See, we got through this segment. We didn't shed a tear at all. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We're waiting for Jim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. You guys can leave now. I got to yeah. stay for the rest. Uh, thank you for being here with us today. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Stay tuned. There's still more coming up on Georgina Life. How you doing? I am loving this show. You, this is, I'll be honest, these are the kind of shows that I think, for you, <laughs> you get super emotional. Um, you're, you're like, in between each segment, you're like, that was so great. <laughs> you guys are awesome. And, but you know what? It's something that, uh, about your character where you, you thrive. You thrive in volunteering. You thrive in great stories of people doing great things for their community. And that's definitely, oh. that, is, that is the Janderson zone. You know what, though? I, I have this confession to make, which I, uh -oh. I very rarely tell anyone. But when I graduated high school, I had, I think I had three hours of volunteering. I just never, I was very involved in the community and I was very active, but we moved a lot as a kid, so right. um, and moved like it, across country. Which means it's hard to sink your teeth into the local right. scene of volunteering and community service. Yeah, and it was, so it was amazing and we would explore and we would go to different places and, and it was wonderful to see those things, but uh, from a volunteer standpoint, I, I never really did it. And we did one, um, I volunteered at the food bank in high school because we had had one afternoon where we had to find a local organization to volunteer with. It was volunteer day before there were 40 yeah, hours I was of... Yeah, um, I Wait a moment when you said I, I graduated with 30, <laughs> three hours community service. I'm sure there's high school students, yeah. you know, all over this town <laughs> who are saying, how did you get that deal? <laughs> yes, right? That's right. Which isn't actually, and then equally there's high school students all over this town who, you know, take that 40 hours and they're like, 40 hours? Psh, how about 400? Right? Well, or and just, that's just it. Yeah. yeah, I love it. So it wasn't until I started at Rogers, and when I when I was graduating um, college, you needed 100 hours in this field right. in order to graduate. And so I went and started um, interning at. Um, Rogers in Richmond Hill and that was the first time that I really felt like I was going out to places and being a part of a community and loving um, the stories, loving what people were doing and I moved away from the hard news because right. I was reporting, right, and moved away from the scrums and the top stories for the human interest because I was just fascinated with what the community had to offer and and then you and, and well so up I do every love it. time. So I you do. Well up every time. I might. Speaking of, of human interest and great volunteering, Georgina <laughs> Care's auction. Yes. Uh, great success. Uh, I know that there'll be more reports on the final tallies and all that said and such yeah. uh, coming up shortly. But what a successful uh, event! What a great day. We had an amazing day yesterday. It was here on Rogers TV, Georgina. It was uh, six hours of live auction. Um, we are formulating numbers to be able to announce um, but record-breaking and so that can't be done without you know we had 70 volunteers in here we had all kinds of businesses you, you and organizations and you, you had and the bidders you yeah. had Georgina and Georgina Who cares out. Georgina cares Georgina cares so we were thrilled with how the day went I, incredible uh, we're thrilled with how the show is going and uh, we're only halfway through coming up after the break we have Don Pratt here who's representing the Keswick Community Policing Group and we also have Tony Lynn uh, one of our adult award recipients that's all coming up after this Join me in congratulating Tony. Advanced activities since her inception. 
rain or shine, you'll find these folks out in the community handing out information on crime prevention, assisting with gathering food donations, and even wearing or escorting a York Region Police mascot or two. Please help me congratulate the community policing volunteers. So joining us now, we have uh, Tony Lynn, as well as we have Don Pratt. I gotta say, we don't have the entire crew <laughs> of the York Regional Police uh, Community Services programming uh, in the red jackets, all yeah. surrounding you, as you did on stage there in the clip. They would have come, though. They, they, would have, have. they, they absolutely would have, would have come. They would have. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so thanks to the both of you for showing Thank up. You. Thank you. And uh, also thanks for again. This is our opportunity to say thanks for what you do, both in uh, in different capacities and for what led us to these awards. Um, Don, you are here representing the Keswick Community Policing, yes. one of three organizations that uh, received an award that night. Yes. Um, yes. It's a wonderful honor, I'm guessing. It I can't is. speak it for you. It absolutely is. <laughs> But it's also a wonderful opportunity to spread awareness about the work that you do. Yeah, it is. I mean, people see us out on the weekends and, and uh, you know, doing the, just this weekend alone, we did a food drive down at Canadian Tire in, in Keswick. Um, it, was, it was quite an honor, though, to, to stand up in front of uh, a whole bunch of fellow volunteers that do equally good in the community. Right. Uh, and it, it, with an organization, and now you're organizing several volunteers yes yeah, so yeah, we have we have around 22 volunteers with the, the Keswick group um, and there, there's other you know York Regional Police is, is, has a large umbrella of volunteers um, in total I believe there's over 500 um, within the organization Thank you. Um, and so we're, we're a small part of that but a very proactive piece of that very good uh, Tony you are an award recipient for the adult category yes you teach Tai Chi yes I share free Tai Chi in our town in Caswell at Ice Pies Hall and uh, in Sutton at uh, Sutton Area Hall. And in summer, we also have the uh, outdoor Tai Chi, morning and sunset at Creighton Beach Park and uh, Rolet Mary Home. And beautiful locations yes, beautiful. to be able to do. We have such beautiful town. So. Yeah. Why you have been doing this since 2008? Yes, since 2008. Why do something like this? And I always try to keep my mind what I learned from my Tai Chi master. And he told me love and devotion. Okay. Feeling love in your heart um, is not enough. Uh, one also needs devotion or out of kindness too. And also uh, after my wife have a uh, near-death experience, uh, I realized life is so short, uh, and I was so grateful for, for kind of help she received from our time, our town. So I try to change my life by trying to make uh, my life more meaningful, and spend more time to share and service others. And Tai Chi was something I. I realized uh, that could have a lot of people, so I offer it for free to help everyone. Wow. And because of my background is uh, Chinese, uh, uh, English is my second language, so at the beginning I don't know how can I do something back to our community. Mm -hmm. So I try to share Chinese culture. So my wife share Chinese uh, nothing Chinese nothing uh, handicap at mm -hmm. the library. And I told Mandarin in the library, and we gave the money back to, to the library. And I then realized uh, Tai Chi will have more people because uh, Tai Chi is a good practice uh, to have people body, mind, and spirit. So mm -hmm. it would be an important contribution to our community. You know, something you said uh, about um, your wife and how you were, you were both very surprised at this community giving back and, and so you wanted to give back. I think that anybody who lives in Georgina, I think they start to, to say that at one time or another, Absolutely. right? Yeah. You start to, to say this community is unique and the things that people do for one another mm -hmm. yeah. is still small town, even though we're growing. Yes. Yeah. It, and it's a very welcoming community to do the volunteering in. 
Yeah, and you see that you you yeah, are out in a lot of different events and yes. a part of this community. Most definitely, yeah, it's a very friendly place to be. Um, I think for policing, and again, I'm speaking on your behalf, <laughs> but I think being proactive is Absolutely. often the way to go for a safer and healthier. Yeah, and, and we hear that a lot from uh, from parents and kids that uh, it's 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 that softer integration to 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 knowing police. Um, there, there is a pleasant side. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and, and then when the day comes that you have an interaction with a police officer, whatever that might true. be, you, you know this is someone you can trust. It doesn't have to be negative. No, this is yeah, someone yeah, that you can relate to that is there to be helpful and help keep you safe. Most definitely. Well, I'm, I'm thrilled that the awards um, showcase all of the wonderful people in this community and also some of the hidden gems because uh, for some people they are flying under the radar and yes. volunteering like yourself, sir. <laughs> and so it's wonderful to be able to um, recognize uh, everybody who's involved. So thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. All right. Coming up after the break, we have more of the Harpleys are joining us on the couch. Stay tuned. Please help me in congratulating the members from the Peffel Association. I can't list all the people that I would like to thank tonight, but you know who you are, and we really appreciate any help that we get from the community on this. Thank you very much. Welcome back to Georgina Life. Well, we are celebrating the uh, 2015 Georgina Award of Merit recipients. Uh, this year, three organizations will receive the award, um, one of which is the Pefferla Association of Ratepayers. Here joining us now is Gary and Froney Harpley. Thank you for joining us. Thanks you know, Gary, you've never been here on the show. Uh, Froney has joined us a couple of times to talk about the picnic, to talk about events that were happening. Um, and that's, that's really what PAR is all about. There are some wonderful events raising awareness about uh, Pefferlaw and area. Correct? You're right, right on. Yeah. What, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, what is PAR? The Pefferlaw Association of Repairs since 19, I guess it was formed in 1978. <laughs> and originally to um, help out with the mosquito abatement program. And it's involved since then to um, the Pepperlot Picnic, which we do every year. That's our um, flagship event, I suppose. We also do the um, rabies clinic, low-cost rabies clinic for the community. Um, we host all candidates meetings. And this will be our second year coming up uh, in the end of February to do the spaghetti dinner. And we do that as a fundraiser for the, uh, for the picnic. I always like to hear a second annual because it <laughs> means that the first, first was <laughs> very successful. Yes. yes, it was. In spite of the power outage and, uh, and all the problems that we had, it, it was uh, extremely successful. Uh, it got the community together. We didn't make a whole lot of money on it, but we learned a whole lot. And uh, this one will be a much more efficient fundraiser. Right. Frony, you've been involved in PAR since 1979, is that correct? Yes. <laughs> in and out, in and out, in and out. Right. But obviously it's important yeah. to you. Mm -hmm. um, why is that? You like to see people in the community get together and not have to go uh, find with the picnic there's a lot of people that don't have the means that other people have. They can go say, to the CNE, used to be the big thing. They couldn't afford it and that. So that's when we started doing things like that. Like, let's do something for the kids. And this picnic is growing on that, big time. I think when we first started, we had something like 50 some odd people there. 
And last year, last year, was just, last year was just over 2,500 people to wow. the event. Wow, they were there. Um, and and the nice part about it, it's yeah. it's it's funded by um, a lot of people. Well, it's funded by a lot of individuals. It's also funded by a lot of their businesses in Pefferla, and they understand the reason for it, um, bringing the kids out. It's all free. Everything is free for the kids, and they have a ball. Okay. And we, we, we raise um, collectively as a group about $10,000 to put this picnic on. Uh, great support from the town of Georgina, um, local business, Canadian Tire Home Hardware. Um, Family Trust Real Estate. The real estate uh, group has has been. Um, they, they've come forward and, and, and really contributed. So it's uh, it's become a major event in town now. People uh, kind of look forward to it. So. And of course, it was nice to be recognized. Mm -hmm. Ab absolutely. Um, and, and it's not just us sitting here. It's it's the entire community that's come together. Um, we're, we're a small group. Uh, there were a total of six of us that, uh, that put on the event. Well, we are thrilled that you are representing them today. All right. Thank you. Thank you. More to come after this. Please join me um, in congratulating Jim Anderson. Never underestimate the power um, of volunteering and the influence you can have on the kids because, as you can see, they turn around and give back many years later. So, thank you very much. So. Up next on the couch, no stranger to the studio, of course, <laughs> we have uh, Rogers TV Georgina's own Jim Anderson. Uh, we're talking about one of the other hats that you wear. Yep. You know, obviously, the work that you do here is uh, very much community involved, but we're, we're talking about the other side of things, which is uh, Coach Jim. I'm more comfortable talking about the TV part of it. Um, yeah, um, Coach Jim. So I've uh, coached for 20 years for the Georgina Minor Baseball. Um, started when my 23-year-old was little, now not so little. Um, and then as he kind of came through the system, my little guy was just coming up into it. So I started again back at, uh, at baseball school, and now he's uh, 10 years old and he's playing rep baseball. So that was, uh, yeah, it's easy one for me to do because I've always been a sports, had a sports passion. So I'm glad my boys have the same, same feel. Yeah. Um. Mm. Easy one to do, but also very difficult because there's <clears throat> there's a lot of parents who have kids in um, organizational sports yeah. in the community, and and they aren't on a bench, they aren't um, you know doing lineups on the way to a game, um, and and so it is a lot of time for volunteers to step up and I am take part. I am lucky. My job here allows me to maybe leave a little bit early on, on a day to get a diamond lined and, and, and give back that way. Um, I know not everybody can do it, uh, although it would be great if each parent at some point could take a chance to be on that bench to see what's involved because there's more than just showing up, coaching, and, and leaving. Um, but I know there's lots of people who do it because they love it, and it's their way to give back. So. The other part, too, is for uh, a lot of parents, the perspective of the pressure behind the bench, even of, you know, uh, the youngest of levels of sports, yes. to make sure that you are uh, instilling uh, the skills and the right sportsmanship attitude at a very young age. There is a fine line between um, wanting to win and wanting to keep these kids together, wanting to, to be at the ballpark. Um, and wanting to be part of a team. So, yes, I coach at rep level, and yes, of course, we would like to have th successful seasons. Um, but my goal has always been, I want the kids I'm coaching when they're five to be still playing together when they're 18. And if you don't play them all and, and uh, um, teach them all the game of baseball, then, you know, at some point, there's no team anymore because at 13, they want to do something else. So, um, yes, we still want to do well. Um, but I, you know, I want these kids to love baseball like I do. Um, you told a very cool story that night of um, 
of somebody that you used to coach who now coaches? Yes, uh, Mark Atridge, who's a uh, hockey coach in town. Um, he, um, I coached him when he was 10 in Richmond Hill. My, my buddies and I, we were like, <clears throat> I think 19 and 20, we decided to give back in Richmond Hill and coach a hockey team. Mark Atridge was a 9 or 10 year old at that time that I coached. Turns out he's now moved to Georgina like I did. Um, and he was coaching my son Tyler at hockey school and basically came up to me and went, you have no idea who I am, but you were my coach when I was 10. And part of the reason I coach now is because I saw what you and your friends did back when I was a kid, and I thought, I need to do that too. So Incredible. Love that story. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, Rogers TV Georgina is very volunteer-based, so you, you get to see both sides of the volunteering coin, not only the importance of being one, but also needing them. A great example was the auction we just did. Um, Georgina Cares, you know, we needed volunteers. My volunteers here. We had 55 people here yesterday who did amazing work, and without the volunteers, you can't do it. So that's why I volunteered with Georgina Cares and Neighborhood Network. It's and these guys on camera, these guys are great. So you need volunteers. You can't do it without them. Thank you. Proud of you. Thank you. All right. There's more to come. I almost made it. <laughs> So we were talking about that you definitely get sentimental. I do. Emotional. I do. And that's totally fair to do that. Yeah. Especially for volunteering and great works. Uh, I got to do a shout out. Obviously, um, great things happening this weekend, Georgina Cares Auction. It was also the Grey Cup. Um, and my Ottawa Red Blacks put up a valiant effort. But, uh, you know, actually, to be fair, Edmonton Eskimos, uh, all of them are great teams. I love them all. It's great Canadian football. Um, but the game that I do need to talk about was the uh, Estonian Eskimos versus the, uh, the Keswick Red Black Dinner Jackets uh, <laughs> at the, uh, the Battle of Eudora, um, which is the that great... That was lesser known. This is lesser known, but, uh, you know, we're talking about community events. Great football game that happened here. I got to say, scored a touchdown mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and had some big plays and made some uh, firing on all pistons. Uh, it was a good battle, but we came up one TD short mm -hmm. uh, in the end. So, uh, you know, to everybody that part participated in the Battle of Eudora uh, annual football game. Uh, quite <laughs> a good game. Congratulations. Congratulations to everybody because that's what great Canadian football is all about. So, Awesome. Uh, While you ate female bacon and maple syrup yep. and yep. all those good things. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And we each wore our toques, eh? Because it was pretty chilly. <laughs> So uh, yes. good, 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 great Canadian football. I love it. Uh, love the show. Uh, it was, it was amazing. We had amazing guests here today. Thanks. Stay cold, Georgina. <laughs> You're welcome.